Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Um, we are carrying into part four of our uh, Microsoft SQL Management Studio tutorial. Um, in this uh, session, we're going to talk about adding relationships to tables. Right now, we've got our two tables here, addresses and students. And in the last session, we added a column into addresses called student ID. That means that a student, uh, in this case, can have many addresses. And that's an important factor because uh, it's uh, quite often that a student has uh, several different um, types of addresses. They may have a home address, a work address, a secondary home address, um, who knows uh, what, whatever addresses that we may want to track. But by giving us a table to track them in, it gives us uh, the ability of giving uh, people uh, a limitless amount of addresses, which can be quite helpful. All right. Now, um, what I also wanted to do uh, in my uh, database here, uh, I've got all these addresses and street names. Uh, what I thought about doing here is, is adding in a name column, okay? And this would be like, you know, if we're adding it in, we can say, uh, we can call it home or we can call it, um, you know, home at school. Uh, either way, it gives us the ability of giving a, a name to this, uh, this street. We're going to kind of limit that uh, to 10 characters, right? Just a small name. It could be, uh, again, home, work, uh, etc., other, whatever. Uh, but at least we can name what it is. Um, we will also, uh, for uh, demonstration purposes, we'll call... Uh, we're going to give it a, a default called home, okay? So let's uh, save this. All right, good. Now that means that every time I create a, an address, it's going to automatically put the words home in there as my, uh, as my default name. Now, what this lesson is about is uh, creating relationships between the data, all right? So to do that using the wizards, uh, we will take this um, note here. Where are we here? Sorry, there we are. Um, we're going to go right click on anywhere in the designer and uh, go to relationships, go to add, and it automatically sets up this, this relationship. So it's not what we are after. So we're going to click on this area right here and then click on this three dot button. Okay. The primary table is the one that we're relating to. Okay. In this case, the foreign key table, that's the addresses. So it has a reference to uh, students. If I click over to here, it shows all of the students, uh, the student entity uh, attributes. So I want to stick select student ID and then over here in the foreign key table it has address ID set up that's not correct because that doesn't have anything to do with us with our student ID so we select that and these should two should be equal okay these two are related to each other okay excellent uh, shows that it's uh, named it as uh, F key that stands for foreign key uh, addresses underscore students so it's addresses relates to students okay and it's as simple as that all right we close that we're going to save it now this is where uh what i've been talking about it's, it's going to prompt us uh to ask if we want to save us save these tables because now they're relational if something goes uh goes wrong in one it goes wrong in the other so we have to be mindful of what data gets affected Okay, and we press yes, because we already know that we're not affecting anything and nothing's going to go wrong. And that's, uh, and that's it for uh, relationships using the wizard. Uh, remember to like and share, and we'll catch you in part five. Thanks a lot, guys.